I like vinyl myself. I was uh, someone played me. Where's that clip of Gary's TV show? The latest one where JD, you pulled the clip like Gary and John are with a guy and. Is it more vinyl? And more vinyl, and they're talking <laughs> endlessly about vinyl. I don't know who's watching this show. Are they getting any ratings? Like how many people could be that much, that concerned with vinyl? And I mean, all right, like if it was five minutes, fine. But but they endlessly go and discuss vinyl versus digital. And then this guy is on, and he goes, oh, my God, I can't stay. Gary, where's the latest clips? He's putting them up now. Good. It's so fucking whacked out, your show. But, but I mean... It's crazy. But, like, just because like, like, you're not into something, why no, can't I mean, somebody else be into it? It's got to be the, sm the most narrow cast I've ever seen for cable television. I don't I think mean, so. Really? Uh, like, a, how long is the show? An hour? No, it's a uh, half, half hour, so it's like 22 minutes. It's like a half hour with this guy. Which guy? The, this guy that I'm listening to on your show who's, like, playing you vinyl. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Guy's a loon. You know where we found him, by the way? Yeah, who is he? Friend of Vinny Favalli's. Yeah, right. either that or he's a homeless. No, guy. no, he's he's a guy. Who, he lives in New Jersey. He's got like a two hundred fifty thousand oh. dollar vinyl, you know, turntable setup, and he's really into vinyl. Two hundred fifty thousand yeah, dollars. Yeah, he's got like a turntable that costs fifty thousand dollars. You know, special. But how does he make money? I don't know. He writes about this stuff. He's he writes on websites and stuff. I don't know how that's how he makes. Oh, it. it's so annoying. I, no offense, you know. I know you're excited. Oh, not taken. By the way, every time I <laughs> I tune in the channels, and I hear Gary promoting this show, and it's like fine, but uh, you know, I don't care if the guys promote. But <laughs> Jesus Christ! What do you mean every time you tune in the channels? I don't know. I tuned I, two times. I, I tuned in this weekend. It was you on there. I guess like going and don't forget VH1. I think we do. I think we do it once or twice a week at the end of the rap. Must show. be every time I tune in. Yeah, you must be getting the same time. That happens. Yeah. Well, a lot of people. I, I was like, wow, yet another. Here comes JD. I can hear him. Yeah. I, I just don't know that there are that many people who care about this topic. I mean, I mean you saw John Varvatos. He cares about it. There's a lot yeah, of people. Yes. I, I mean, would that... he watch a whole TV show about it? Well, the, the, the whole show is not about it, just this particular one was. Mostly, it, you know, I was thinking your show needs, it needs uh, Ann Curry. You should hire her. <laughs> what, what is it, J.D.? Uh, J.D. 2 in red. Oh. you got to hear this. This is the greatest clip ever. you got to hear this guy. And John and Gary are right in there with him. Well, let's get right to it. You're one of those guys in the age of digital and CDs <laughs> and MP3s. You're a guy who still champions vinyl. Yes, like from the beginning. You're a guy who still champions vinyl. Champions vinyl. Well, listen to this guy. He's so excited that someone showed up at his door. Beginning, I did. I was all for digital at the beginning. I was primed to love it. I went to an AES and heard the first CD player demonstration. It was Roxy Ooh. Music's Avalon, my favorite record. Braid record. And Braid record. He went to where? CES and he's... AES. AES. I don't know what that is. He went to AES and... He heard his first digital, and he was excited, and he heard Roxy music. Great record. It's not a great record. That is a great record. No, Avalon, if, you're, if you're Meg Griffin, it is. Avalon is a great album. Okay. But, it's, but Howard, this is opinion. Mm, whatever. <laughs> I guess it's the same opinion that says, hey, let's do a show about vinyl versus digital. So nobody bought that, but nobody bought that record? No, I'm sure some people did. A lot of people did. Yeah, not me. So that makes it bad. Yep. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> they put it on, and it was horrible. I mean, it was oh, so horrible. It was so horrible. Oh, he's got these special ears. <laughs> oh, yeah, and it was just terrible. I shouldn't even interrupt this, right? I'm starting from the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get right to it. You're one of those guys in the age of digital and CDs and MP3s. You're a guy who still champions vinyl. Yes, I, from the beginning I did. I was all for digital at the beginning. I was primed to love it. I went to an AES and heard the first CD player demonstration. It was Roxy Music's Avalon, my favorite record. record. Mm. And they put it on, Great and record. it was horrible. I mean, it was so horrible. I said to myself, okay, so people are going to say, this is not good, but the technology is so cool. Over time, it'll get better. But when the event was over, people said, oh, my God, the sound was so incredible. I loved it. That's That very day, I went to a store that made up. Wow, do you care that much? Who cares? Bumper stickers, and I had one made up that said compact discs sound terrible. And I he made up a bumper sticker that said compact discs mm. sound terrible. Starting a movement. Put At that moment, yeah. he should have signed himself into a mental That's right. That's what you do. Your family <laughs> has an intervention. <laughs> Did anybody care that much? And I started my crusade in nineteen eighty. You must have been all alone. Yes. I was all alone. Because yeah, when CDs came out, everybody said, they're easier to store. Right, they are. They don't store. 
skip. They do. <laughs> and they don't wear out. Right, and they do. And they sound better. That was the big That's thing about your CD. It's true thing sound about so much the, better than your vinyl. I think digital has its own qualities, some of which are very good. You know, no noise, what's not there is great. What, some things in digital are good, Robin. But, but, but. But there's something there. missing, apparently. Right. Yes. Or just has this thin kind of crispy quality that doesn't sound like live music to me or music. It has this kind of mechanical quality. Why is that? I mean, for in layman's terms, because the vinyl I know is deeper and a wider sound. This guy in Jersey, how does he know? I right. say digital preserves music the way formaldehyde preserves frogs. You kill it and it lasts forever. Good. <laughs> what, what is he talking about? What are you all talking about? <laughs> Howard. I mean, honestly, we're doing a show. We, uh, uh, we don't have a turntable. Do, do, you, do you play any instruments? Are you a musician? No, but why do I we mean, have to I be? I mean, I don't know, man. You're Wait, so into on. it. You're, you're missing Why don't you go out and play some music? Hold on a second. You're missing the point. And you're you know playing. what this is? This is guys who don't play uh, instruments making themselves involved in the music. Music, right, right. Here's what it is. He's all involved with his records. We're doing a show about collectors. <laughs> Let me ask you something. We all, you answer the question. I'm going to answer. Turn, we're doing a show about collectors. <laughs> do you, you said, why do you go talk to We're doing a show about collectors. There's a guy that's got 15,000 albums. Who cares? No, Maybe you, the whole show you, is ridiculous. You just asked a question. Do you do you interview people who churn their own butter? <laughs> no, but I'm not doing that kind of show. If I were doing, a show, if I were doing a show about pilgrims... What do I, you think of people who churn their own butter? I think it's funny. I, I mean, I think... think it's ridiculous. I right? think it probably would taste better, but it's a lot of work to get there. Yeah, exactly my point. He's got his $250,000 rec records and... and Good lord! Well, you know, John Varvatos hit it right on, right on the on the button. It's it's not that you can't. It's <laughs> no, not didn't. one. No, it's not one or the other. It's he, fine. Listen, he's to say, he, John was saying there's a time. Really, does it really Wait, matter? Again, you ask questions that you don't I want didn't to answer. I ask to. you a question. You're just here talking. I didn't even ask you to come in. You fucking walk you in. You said, "Would I want to turn butter?" And I, and, and that's I'm, all I asked you. But you're you're, you're making you're the here. analogy. Did I ask you to come in? Tell the truth. No. No. So what are you doing in here? Well, then I came in and you asked me a question. <laughs> if you're going to tell me I'm an asshole, right, if you're going to tell me I'm an asshole and I'm now boring, the, I'm going to answer now you. Now the guy gets all excited because uh, they're going to do a, a, like a comparison. Wait till you hear the comparison. You'll, uh, you'll hear no difference. Yeah, that's what I want. Yeah, this is the best part of the show. Okay, let's go back to the early 80s, the whole synth rock business. We'll play the Thompson Twins in the name of love. First, we'll hear it digitally. Oh. Okay. It's your wheelhouse, guys. By the way, what was wrong with those guys, the Thompson Twins? Mm. Remember that? And why would you even bother to have a disc of theirs? Well, I can tell Those you that. two freaks, that guy with that freaky dude with his freaky sister. Well, they started out as seven people, then they became three people. Was that his sister? No, wh who are you talking the about? The Thompson twins. I don't know who you're talking about. That was in his... I'm talking about the Thompson Yeah, but I don't know twins. what you mean about his sister. A boy and a girl. Was that his sister? There were three people in the band. I, I don't saw know. a man and a woman when I used to see the Thompson twins, and they looked fucking ridiculous. I don't know that they were related. I just know that there were three uh, people in the band. I, I thought they were. Fred, were they brother and sister? That, I'm looking it up now. Right. It's true. Nobody even cares. They were neither a duo nor related. Bro, right? okay. Meanwhile, of all those records to pick, he's going to play a side by side comparison with the Thompson twins. I can yeah. explain that. I think that, that will make yeah. no difference to me whatsoever. Right. This, this, that, a, that I understand. This is one of the few clear. songs they could afford to okay, clear. Okay, got it. I would have rather uh, have gone, uh, you know, uh, Led Zeppelin. Pink Floyd. Right. It is. <laughs> yeah, they, you I haven't think, seen I this, think, have you? I think the Thompson twins actually pay you to use their song. <laughs> Howard, you haven't seen this, right? You just heard it? Yeah, because it's really it's really embarrassing. John and I, it's like the Joe Franklin show. We have to sit there, and the cameras on us listening to the song. Uh, I would have left. I would have said, you know what? I work on the Howard Stern show, the greatest radio show in history. I don't need to be on this. I would have left. I we, thought maybe you guys would sober up. We actually enjoy this. Yeah, well, that's a problem. <laughs> that you're wasting time with this show is fucking look insane. you shouldn't even have to play it this long if there's that big a difference oh wait 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 till he gets to his record and then gary or john goes oh i love that sound you know when you put the needle on the yeah the, i i would have taken the album and banged it yeah. over his head yeah, i would have smashed it over both of them. <laughs> <laughs> That brings back some memories. Just how I remembered it. All right, so now you're going to give this to us on vinyl. Play the, this is the 12-inch vinyl single. I love that sound. Shut up. 
Here's the difference. Do you notice a difference? I don't. Yeah, but it doesn't make a difference. <laughs> In fact, I'm pretty sure the digital sounded a little better. Yeah, it was crisper, just like he said. Remember, records used to scratch and ruin your album and you couldn't use it anymore? Well, how come nobody brings that up? Yeah, they were terrible to deal with. Oh, this is horrible. How could anyone listen to this garbage? By the way, when you said to the guy, that brings back memories, did that song really bring back? I've never even heard this song. Does that what do you remember, <laughs> Gary? I remember going to clubs and dancing to that song. I'm you a little do? younger oh, than you. That God. Was, it was, you know, listen, it's crappy music, but I do remember it. <laughs> that brings back memories. It did. I mean, I worked at the record store. That was a big, that song was a big selling song, and yeah, it was on it was? MTV. Wow. I don't remember that. I remember not caring about it in 1980, whatever it was. Well, either you remember it or you don't. Yeah, I sure don't. But we're, we're in the middle of the vinyl. I, I just got to hear right. how you guys react to the vinyl. Uh, uh, it's so much better. Right. I feel like I should be wearing a members only jacket. That was almost something for the song, to be honest with you. I've heard that song a bunch of times, and I heard stuff in that vinyl version I've never heard oh, before. Oh, shut up, John. First of all, there's a lot of interesting percussion stuff going on. There's a lot of like little conga oh, stuff. Oh, Gary, you're such a fucking dick. Conga stuff. <laughs> there's a lot of conga I couldn't hear in the digital. <laughs> you're lying now. Now you're right, right, so we just made We just made it up. Yeah. Yeah. What did John hear? Did John say uh, what he John, heard? John heard a bumblebee in the background. There, there was a rat in the studio. Ah, can there's you, there's you hear the squeak? Can't you hear the squeaking of the rat? <laughs> Why would anybody talk when you guys Fucking have a point? <laughs> this song doesn't sound better on vinyl. Uh, Sounds better with the volume. That song off. doesn't sound better, period. A little, uh, you know, timpani stuff. But I think the thing that jumped out at me that I never heard before oh. is throughout the whole song, there's this little guitar riff. Oh. 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 Yeah, it's like, yeah. And I never heard that before. It was all sort of squashed in. There's just so much going on. You're lying. No You're a fucking of... liar. We're not lying. Yeah. Okay. You heard it. You're such a liar. Wait, love the first one. That'll get you out of your seat every time. In the name of. Yeah, exactly. In the name of. <laughs> you do that too well, Gary. Yeah. But, I mean, it's just another you great example. You guys are great personalities. Apple of vinyl taking you deeper into a song, and you hear things that you truly never, oh never my hear. God. You, you wouldn't otherwise hear. I absolutely heard the difference. You guys can take my job. You got it. Exactly. That's exactly right. What's his job, by the way? He writes about uh, audio. Vinyl. Well, no, he writes Telling about people what you hear on the vinyl as so, opposed to so the digital I guess somebody version. cares what he does. What, is this guy, <laughs> what, is, what does this guy want? Does he want a world where we go back to records as opposed to digital? No, I think he just wants people to know. Why, why, is it, why does he want them to know? Why does he want them to know anything? When people are perfectly satisfied with digital, yeah. why does he want them to know? He wants them to know that they could, I don't even know. Well, okay, let Gary finish the sentence. What does he that. want him to know? You heard it. What's the answer? You don't have an answer. I, I have an answer. Okay, go ahead. He wants people to know that, yes, CDs are better for, you know, uh, being portable and all that stuff, and there's nothing, it, CDs aren't awful, but vinyl does give you a fuller sound, and there's just an alternative. That's it. That's what he wants. Joe, am I off on that, or am I about right? No, and he's, and he's so, so I believe that if I churn my own butter, it probably will be a little bit better. It might be a lot better. Yeah, but it'll like, take time to get it, but, but it'll be better. But do you think I should sit home all day and churn butter, or should I just accept what's yeah. in the store? That's your choice. Yeah. Okay. What do you think? What do you, what do you think your choice would be? I would. I'm going to be very honest with you. You, you can mock me. Your... No, you can mock me all you want. I do have a setup at home. No, no. And I, no about and butter, I asked you. I didn't butter, ask you about I, butter. I don't. I don't care enough about butter to churn my own. Right. <laughs> but I. I do listen to vinyl at home from time to time. You know what I'm going to buy you a butter churner. Wow. So you can turn your own. Buy me a turntable. Right. You want one? I'll get you I'll one. I'll have one. All right. And John, well, I'm shocked at you. I always thought you were honest. Yeah, in other words, John, I, I know Gary's an asshole, but you, I'm bullshit. shocked at yeah, yeah. John, do you have vinyl? Yes. Of course he does. He's built like a guy who sits on the vinyl. <laughs> How much vinyl do you have? Uh, How about hitting the gym instead of listening to vinyl? Not as much as Gary. But um, when I was listening to that record, I hate that song, that Thompson Twins song. Right. I will say that. But... I did hear stuff during the vinyl. <laughs> one. I'm not lying. I really did. What? Then, then when I heard the and what CD, what did you hear again? I heard like you hear all these different instruments and these different guitars. It's just a, <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah uh, you hear a uh, bunch uh, of people uh, wasting their yeah. time. Right. All but right, it's guys. not about whether you like the song or not. It's it's just that there was a difference. That was the are point. Are they going to continue your TV show? Or have they broken the news to you yet that it's a complete horrible show not yet yes yeah. they told they called us the other day they got it's a, it's a complete horrible show oh yeah. good did they, and then good. they sent us flowers glad to see they did they send flowers oh oh 
They said they called us a couple of weeks ago to tell us we were the highest rated show <laughs> on VH1 Classic that oh, week. Yeah. Oh, oh, so the then, second week we so were. Then I guess they're going to renew it. Oh God! Is there more people with vinyl out there? Yeah, hey, Robin. I've been thinking about <laughs> our careers. <laughs> Like, uh, would you co-host a show with me and we just visit people who sew their own clothing as opposed to buying it in the store? Yes. Howard, get, get. Oh, my God. It's so much more beautiful sewn by you. I love like now. Me. Here's the store version. Mm. <laughs> can, may I say something, Howard? Can I just get two seconds to say something? Here's, a, here's clothing made by uh, J.C. Penny. And now here's clothing made by you. The same exact outfit. And I can see every color. You know what? I'm seeing things in this dress that I didn't see in the other dress. <laughs> Howard, can I just... All I, right, you got the job. May I say one thing, please? <laughs> Why, are you jealous of Robin and mine's new show? I'm just begging... No, I want to make a point. We go around and we talk to collectors. It just so are you going to claim oh, that... You just was, said, let me just fucking finish claim, a sentence. Are you we go around and we talk to... Col- I'll over talk to you. I don't give a shit. I'll talk over you. <laughs> I didn't ask you a question, Gary. You interrupted. I said, may I say something, and then you, you said... Okay, too much. And then you said, okay. And then you get four words out and you uh, fucking talk over me. The show is so not about vinyl. We go and talk to collectors. It just so happens that there are two episodes where the collectors were big uh, on vinyl, but we talk to other... It's not just a vinyl show. Great. What other kind of things, then? <laughs> because what we hear is vinyl. John, who else did we go and see? We saw a guy with a co- uh, collection of celebrity hair. Yes. Yeah, you talk to people who collect microphones? Um, we have not yet, but we went to a place... Robin, we should do that. There you go. That's what we'll do. We'll find you, everybody. You think in the it's country. weird to talk to people you know who are collectors? Microphone. We do have an upcoming what? segment about that. Actually, <laughs> you know why? Because uh, I'm thinking of uh, instead of using a microphone, I'm just going to go door to door and do my radio show because it sounds better. Right. Because you can hear every word I have to say. I prefer it that way. How about people who collect speakers? Mm. We may find one of those. Hey, 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 that was our idea for our show. <laughs> Robin, call VH1 Classic and see if I can't uh, get a show doing that. We already have some stuff lined up for next season, man. I met a guy who uh, pumps his own water out of a well. <laughs> people... He has a divining rod. <laughs> I like that they found two guys who collect vinyl. It was such a good topic, they went back a second time. It, it couldn't be cut. Co- like 60 minutes barely covers something twice. But these two found the vinyl. The vinyl is so fascinating. Yeah. Do, you, do you have a book that you write stuff in? No. You don't anymore. You don't write stuff in a book at all no, anymore? No, I'm completely electronic. Okay. Right. Why What's would anybody write anything? But would anybody, wouldn't it be stupid to write anything down? Why what? would somebody, why would well, somebody write? Well, yeah, that's why, that's why you're not fucking organized. Why would somebody write something when they could <laughs> just put it on a, uh, on a tablet? Why do people still write? Because it's, it's quicker sometimes to write. This is so, a logical it, answer. If you have a piece it, of paper handy, it's harder it's to, to, to get to your computer. Sometimes it might be better for that person. You're going to compare writing on a piece of paper? I'm just saying that sometimes to, people make choices are you, that are better for them. It's so fucking dumb. It's ridiculous. Well, you've deemed it dumb. The reason I sometimes write on paper is because I can't get to my computer fast enough, and I have a thought, so I write it down on paper, and then I bring it to my computer. So it's better for you? Not that it's better. It's the only thing I have available. What, what, what are you talking about? A piece of paper is still relevant. A record isn't. To you. No, no to record, the world. A record no, is no, relevant no, no. to some people. It's, you just think, equated something it's with a idiotic. practical purpose saying, to a, a thing that has no practical all right, purpose. All right, thanks, guys. I'm saying if something's all not right, relevant bye, bye, to bye, you, yeah, it's not okay, relevant okay, to anybody. Okay, I, I see your point. Okay, bye. Watch goodbye. me. Watch, can I say watch no, me? No, no, no one cares. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. You and John. So Go nice. back and work on this show. You work on a relevant show. It's this one. Or, or just go work on that full time. And leave here. Fuck Boy, me. I heard the timpani. Oh, I can't believe it. And some what congas. I... Oh, it's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> they should lock all three of those guys up. <laughs> <laughs> to you. To you. Oh. We, uh... I asked a man on the street, guys, if uh, they care about CD or vinyl. Okay. Now, these guys are big proponents of vinyl records versus CD. Do you think there's a difference? If they don't like CDs, fuck them. You know what I mean, I love CDs. So they don't like them, fuck them. <laughs> right. Eat, dick, and die. Eat, dick, and die. Right. Eat, dick, and die. <laughs> guys, uh, guys That's on... what you say to people with vinyl. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think there's a difference between CDs and vinyl? Oh, it's a big difference. You don't need a needle. 
There's no comparison to the CD <laughs> where you just pop it in and go. Yeah. All that you need a record player, all that type of bullshit for that vinyl. Right. I'm gonna use some. one of these guys really loves vinyl. You think they're weird? Yeah, he look weird, so he gonna be weird. I don't know when he look in the mirror. Do he got any mirrors in his? <laughs> That's John. <laughs> you need to see an ear doctor or something because I get fuck with that vinyl. I'm with you, Mister. Next Christmas, I'm getting Gary a black and white television and a horse. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Make it one of those big consoles with the little screen and the tubes. Hmm. <laughs> Do you think these two guys have a face for TV? My man don't look like he got smacked on one side of his face. He look like Mike Tyson beat him up. <laughs> <laughs> what else is he talking about? I think he was talking about who Richard, who is he talking about? That one is me. Yeah. I think that then when you go further he talks about John. Yeah. It was one of you two. <laughs> Somebody looked like they were in a fight with Mike. Richard said that was me. Oh, that was you? Well, believe me, I shouldn't talk uh, the guys went out on the street and they were asking people who would you rather have sex with? Um Howard Stern or Kim Jong Un, <laughs> and of course I lost. Stop! Yeah, it. yeah. I mean, I was I'd... thinking this would be a slam dunk. Who would you rather date, Howard Stern or Kim Jong Un? I would date Kim Jong, but I don't want no war to start. Howard Stern has a bad attitude. He say bad things. He say the wrong things to the wrong people. Kim Jong like basketball. Yeah, all right, look him, guy. I'd rather date a man who runs a prison camp than date Howard Stern. Yeah, if that's what it is, it is what it is. Kim John Hoon. Kim John Young. Seems like a nicer guy. He's younger. Howard's too old. Kim John Hoon. I like Howard. I like Howard. Sure hey, I got a dude who the wants The guy to... wants yeah, to sleep dude, with you. Dude. You're a little guy for a man. Even the woman don't want short men. Howard's better looking. Yeah. So out of all the women... I lost, but a dude would rather <laughs> fuck me than Kim Jong Un. Well, it shows you men are making a lot of sense these days. Can you imagine a woman picking Kim Jong Un over me? A dictator who keeps yeah. his people in ignorance and poverty. Yeah. Yeah. All right, anyway, I got to take a break. I know there's a lot of people on the phone. I'll get to you next.